Good afternoon. It is January the 23rd, 2017. Time to wrap up our trading day and take a look at what might happen overnight and tomorrow. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Hey, we had a pretty good day today. Um, our levels uh, turned out to be pretty good. Uh, we were on the right side of most markets. Uh, we came into the E-mini today looking to sell 64s to 66s. I think the high was 67.50. This trade right here that we worked through, you were in at 475. And that was the trade of the day. Eventually we trade down to right down to 52. So there was a possible 10, 11 points on that particular trade. Um, the, um, I mean, the trades work. This trade right here is a loser. This trade even to the buy side gives you a little bit. Uh, you don't stop out on this one plus. Nancy's tweezers, a B off of this level. All those Bs produce. Uh, this S is no worse than a break even. So if you're not selective and if you take the trades, uh, it will produce for you. On the buy side, we had a 55 57 buy. That got us started in here. It paused the market, but our 50 52 buy right here. What's the trade from the long side? Number one, R holds. Where are we headed? Number two, S. I mean, number two buy or support. So this was our second buy down there, and it worked out as intended. And it works. Uh, and the reason you go from one, to, no, one levels to two levels, and you skip the a level in between is so the professional trading community can gun the retail stops. Um, lower high, lower low today on the E-mini. Uh, favors the sell tomorrow if you look at the F1 screen. On the F2 screen, uh, definitely a B. But uh, again, we've got support at 22.50, 22.55, and we've got resistance at 22.70. 2275 and uh, that hadn't changed too much here for a while okay with the close right here at um, 5850 uh, last rotate up was 64 um, so the first trade is a 60 62 sell and 64 66 for sell two on the buy side 50 52 45, 47, and starting out in London tonight, we like the short side best. Uh, we have news tomorrow. Uh, PMI flash manufacturing, I don't have a number for that yet, but it was 54.2. Existing home sales, 5.53 million. I don't, that number could come in a little bit lower, the forecast, given the raise in interest rates. And Richmond Fed at 8. This is, I guess, the market's focus will be Trump's um, executive orders and existing home sales. Looking at the 10-year, the note, tomorrow is the two-year auction. That's generally a pretty good one. And the market's set up today, that, that, like that's going to be what happens. We've got a higher low, higher high. And uh, I'm looking for a place to buy it in London tonight. Well, we know where the place is. We're going to buy it. Looking for a level to buy it at. Last rotate down stopped at 24. We're at 26 and a half. So, uh, because they can't take the market straight up, I'm going to try to get it done on the cheap, 17 to 21. 
and we'll put a question mark at 24. And then 9 to 13 for buy 2. Our resistance is at 28 to the buck, so we'll sell 28 to the buck. And 3 to 7. Looking at the 30 year. Okay, first resistance is 4 to 8. So 11 to 15, sell 1, that's where resistance is. And then we'll make it 19 to 23 for sell 2. On the uh, buy side, um, 24 to 28. 17 to 21 by 1. And we'll make, uh, because of the two year auction, we'll make 9 to 13 by 2. E mini sells in the last hour, we're going to have to pay up. Looking at gold, higher low, higher high. And working from either side, failure to take out 1220, we can sell it. Uh, we can certainly buy into weakness. Definitely dealing with a P. So, that's where we were this morning 18 to 20, sell one. 24, 26, sell two. On the buy side, 10 to 12, and 5 to 7 for buy 2. Crude oil. Um, I don't think anything's really changed. I think it's a sell right now, 53, 53.50, and... Uh, to buy against 52, uh, all subject to changes in the news. But right now, the um, um, recalcitrant uh, uh, members of OPEC are calling in, saying, "Yeah, we're uh, going to." Uh, make our quota what we agreed to. Earl, your comment was a little too cryptic for me. Well, I don't have uh, the crude uh, information on this one for some reason, so where's my... I'm going to put my... going to refresh the data. And we'll come back to that one. We'll go do the uh, Euro. Okay, the Euro higher low, higher high. Uh, look for a place to buy it. So 108 is where it should come out. So uh, 107.75. John K on the web. Please turn your mic off. There we go. Uh, so 107.75. Just where we were today. 108. Sell two. On the buy side, let's rotate. Down stopped at 50. We're at 70 right now, and then at 29. So 50's buy one. Really don't like that trade. Then 25 is buy two. Let them get stops beneath that level right there.
When y'all come into the room, be careful. Make sure your mic's turned off. It, we all have to learn how to do that. It's one of the uh, quirks of go to meeting. But they've got, beyond a doubt, the best platform, easiest platform, most reliable platform we have ever used. And I think this is like our, could be our fifth one. Okay. Um, Inside day, trading range is what uh, the F1 screen shows on crude. And we've got a P uh, right here, so we're just exactly where we were this morning, but a little higher. So 53, 53 and a quarter, sell one, 53, 50, 53, 75, sell two. On the buy side, um, well, I sure hoping to buy against the buck, but uh, support is 52 and a quarter, 52.50, buy one. So we'll make it 51.75, 52, buy two. Have the APIs tomorrow night. And the EIAs on Wednesday morning. Hump day. That's it for this January the 23rd, 2015. I will see you all bright and early in the morning. Um, you all have a great evening, and we'll go see if we can't shake that money tree again bright and early in the morning. I'm out of here.